Okay guys, what's up? So today I'm gonna teach you how to steal anything in Skyrim 90.99.9% of the time, so it's almost you're never ever gonna get caught. There are, uh, it takes a few difficult like technical difficulties. Like so basically you hold a you don't click a you click and hold it so you pick it up and then you carry it and take it somewhere that no one is and it's pretty annoying sometimes when you keep dropping it but you can get anything for free right now I'm just showing you basic things and then you have to sneak and pick it up so you don't get caught so that's a basic thing I was gonna go to the general store but he apparently doesn't like having customers so he doesn't want to be open so he just decided not to get a customer. So I'd just go to the War Maiden guy. And later on I will show you uh, the most helpful part is if you go into an alchemy store, like the main Welcome alchemy store, um, she'll follow you everywhere you go in the house. And I'll tell you how to do that, that when I do it. You can hear he says, uh, don't touch that, but he won't do anything. So you guys don't have to worry what they say as long as you're carrying it away. And see, you can do it on little shops, you can do it in houses, anywhere. Uh, right about here, I try taking the shield off the wall. Uh, the reason I get caught is I did not hold it. I clicked A, and that, you won't get as away you can with see, that. it's gone now. So that's why they came after me, not because of this tip not working. So it was a good thing I was part of the My guild. The Stop right there. And this video cost me three hundred and thirty-three dollars, or something like that. So now I'm just going to go to Solitude and show you a little more expensive stuff that you can steal. For the most part in this video I could not find anything to steal, like there weren't amazing things. And if that's, if you do find something really good though, then that helps a lot. Uh, I'm sorry about this. Uh, next video, I will speed up these loadings. It's probably really annoying to watch. So, as you can see here, I do my little time glitch so that it's easier. The time goes fast. Like, as you can see, I really didn't do any edits to this, and that's how fast the day went through for 12 hours. If you guys want to see that video, just click my video selection at the top of the screen beside subscribe. Or unsubscribe if you're already subscribed to me. It'll be beside that. And you can find the video and it's the 24 hour glitch. I've got some salmon to sell. And yeah, that was very helpful. So yeah, I'm just taking the wine glass right now or some spiced wine. Nothing too much. I don't know if you have to sneak if you go far away, but I always sneak because it's not worth getting caught. So I'm pretty sure this is one of the alchemy stores, so that's why I go in here and I steal a bunch of potions. And in this video, you'll also see how they follow you around. Actually, no, there are some serious technical difficulties in this video with my fucking person getting in the way. So I was going to take that soul gem, but it's only a lesser soul gem than the shit. So here is the annoying ass part. You guys can skip 15 like seconds ahead so you can get through I this. Spirits, you know. That's what I would suggest. 
Okay, got it. Oh, it takes me a while to figure out in the right place. how to get it past them. Mm -hmm. And then I just decide to go I've get the other back. one. Lead on. Anything else? Because I realized the one I was looking at earlier is right there. So I have to open this door, and in this video, or in this section right here, uh, this is somewhat of a demonstration of how they follow you, but I'm not going to say yet, because it's not a very good demonstration. Yeah, so, that's basically it. If you guys did hear a cut out there, my stupid ass screensaver came on and stopped the sound, the voiceover recording because I'm pretty sure you can tell this is not live commentary because I can predict the future so that's about it for this part so now this is the second take we're in this, uh, <laughs> dragon search and I basically rob everything this guy has out on the shelf so you, I just took all his gems and everything and you just put them back here this works everywhere that I know of so far if there is a place that you can't do this really put the love just leave it in the comments or something and I guess you can help other people out by that so they don't try to go to the same person but everywhere I've tried it all this all works so it's very very useful I would say because some people leave like daedra carts and things just place. sitting out if you go if you go into the camp companions and you go down to their living quarters and you go into the old guy's room and well not like the room before you go into the old guy's actual bedroom you can, there's a Daedric cart sitting on the left on a plate. Uh, yeah, basically that respawns every 10 days, so that's pretty helpful. And they won't let you take it unless you are the leader, so you can use that there. This, is, this tip would come and help there. And this is time for the person that follows you all around and that always pisses me off whenever I try stealing from him. So. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about that alchemy person down here. If anyone else tried stealing from her, you'll know that she just follows you around the entire time when you go anywhere in her house. So, without this, it's near impossible to steal from her. Take a good look around. So, I can demonstrate with anything. I'm pretty sure I take the fire salts. Yeah. What are you doing that for? Because they're pretty expensive. If... So yeah, you just take them upstairs, basically. Or any other room in the house, I would suggest upstairs. And you place them down, as you can see. I go over here, and you can see her running upstairs, because she does not trust me in her house. Now, you could just steal them right now while she's looking, but there's a chance you could get caught, so all you have to do is press back or whatever it is on PC or whatever or PS3 I sell you wait one hour and then you just pick it up and then she'll have gone back downstairs and you do that over and over and over and over again but if they have one good thing and it's worth a few thousand dollars or just a thousand dollars or a hundred or whatever you guys want it at then it's very useful because all you have to do is wait one hour. What's that take? Two seconds, maybe? And you can see she's already up there again. 
So you wait one hour and she'll be gone. And hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys this helped you at all, could you please rate, comment, and subscribe? It really helps me out.